This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. I'm pretty excited because today I am releasing my first song of 2024, one of many I hope, and I thought I'd share the release process with you in kind of real time, if you like, so you can see just how easy it is in the hope that you'll be encouraged to do the same with your music. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Let's dive in and release my song, Superman. So I'm on the music upload page of DistroKid here and you can see right away it asks me about which services I would like to upload to. And it pre-checks almost all of them. There's just one at the end which we'll get back to in a moment. But I wanna point out that one of the ones it pre-checks is YouTube Music. I'm pointing this out because the form indicates a little bit later on or hints that some people definitely don't want this if you're one of those people make sure you uncheck it here now one of the ones which or the only one which is not pre-checked is snapchat and i want to upload this to snapchat so i'm going to click on that to check it and the reason why it wasn't pre-checked is they want to make sure that you do own 100 percent of the publishing or at least snapchat wants to make sure of that so that's a special requirement for them i'll click on yes i own 100 percent of the publishing and your music is going to be sent to all of these services, okay? And I guess it's one of the main advantages of using a distributor. Can you imagine having to sign up to all of these individual services and upload your album artwork and your song to each of them? It would be kind of a nightmare. And many of you may have thought that that was the case and that's why I made this video, to show you how much more easier it is than that. Now, moving on, we have uh, the number of songs. So this is just a single for me, so one song. You can select a number uh, of different songs if you like. And if you select more songs for an EP or an album or what have you, then it just changes the form. Obviously, it asks you for more information about each individual song. But it's going to be one song for me. And then it's asking me, has this single previously been released? Um, no, this is the first time I've released this song. Um, if I click on yes, um, then you can see that it kind of asks for the original date is all it asked there. So I'm going to click on no for that. Now, moving down to the artist's name. This is really important that you type this correctly. And it's the artist's name rather than your legal name. Now, they may be the same thing. My artist's name is slightly different to my legal name. We'll look at that a little bit later but this is really important this is what you'll you'll be known by in terms of the public if you like okay now i have uploaded things before so i already have a presence on places like spotify and apple music and you can see that my name has been pre-entered here i actually have a number of artists on my account but this was the last one I used, so my name is pre-entered there. And you can see, if you look further down, it says like Spotify and Apple Music there. It's all set to go to be released under that artist name on those platforms. If this was a new artist name, if I was to type in something slightly different, you can see it checks every time you type something in to see if that artist already exists. Now, maybe that art, your artist name exists on Spotify, etc. already, for whatever reason, maybe you've used another distributor, in which case you need to tell um, uh, DistroKid here the URL of that artist name. If you've never released anything before on any of these platforms, then you can just click on no, um, and then it's gonna create all of those, all of your artists presence on all of the platforms, if that makes sense. Okay, so it's very easy. You don't have to do anything other than put in your artist name ultimately. So I've done that and you can see it's already ticked there for Spotify. It's ticked for um, Apple Music there. If we scroll down, it's already ticked for YouTube Music. I've already got a, a channel on there. Um, and there's a couple here that I haven't released to before. So Instagram um, and Facebook. So I'm just gonna leave that as no. Um, I don't have a profile. I'm going to assume it does create profiles on those two platforms. That's what it normally does for other things, okay? So going down from there, I want to set my release date. This is actually a very important thing. You can choose today's date and you can sort of try to release this right away. Bear in mind, it takes time for your song and artwork to get on all of these platforms to be approved and then for everything to be uploaded. So if you choose today's date, it's going to happen 
a sort of in a staggered way. It's going to be appearing on different days um, over the next few weeks, probably on all of these different platforms. Now, I'm actually going to choose a date in the future, which is around about just a little bit over a week from now, the 31st of May. So I'll select that. Now, that's OK. Um, they do recommend it's at least a week in the future. But you'll see later on that they do give you an indication that um, that doesn't mean that your song is going to be available on all of those platforms in one week. It's not guaranteed. However, my experience, and don't hold me to this, is that for the main platforms like Spotify and Apple Music, etc., it does appear within two to three days. It has done for me in the past anyway. So I don't mind, you know, giving around about a week or 10 days or so. And if a few of them appear after that, that's okay by me. I don't get many listeners on those other platforms anyway. Okay, so I've set my date and then I'm going to set a release time. There's sort of two things you need to look at here, release time and time synchronization. So I'm going to set this to 9 a.m. That's when I would prefer to release it. But I'm going to release it at 9 a.m. New York time. I can select this down below, okay? Now, when I make this selection, the second one for time synchronization, it's going to be released at the same time globally, which is what I want because my listeners are all over the world. I don't want it to be, to be appearing at sort of different times as um, you know, 9 a.m. occurs at different times around the world. But if you did want that to happen, then you could select the first option there. Obviously, I don't. Okay, the next thing is about pre-ordering. So um, you can opt to have a pre-order option. I don't really care about that, but you know, if you want to click yes there, you can, and you can select a date for pre-ordering to become available. I'm going to click no. Um, and the, the next thing is a record label. So I've previously used Creative Source Music as my record label. That's why that's already in there. You may be thinking, oh my God, I don't have a record label. I can't release. No, that's fine. Just put in your artist name here, or if you have have a record label and just put that in there okay so pretty easy nothing to worry about there um, yes the language is going to be English for this now becomes what I always find to be one of the most difficult things to decide which genre is it because it doesn't quite fit exactly um, in any particular genre for me often uh, but I'm going to select one anyway the closest I can think of for this song is rock and i'm purely basing that on the fact that it's got a few electric distorted electric guitars in there and a guitar solo that's the closest um but not necessarily rock but anyway we can select a second genre um and it's gonna be singer songwriter you just might not find the exact thing for you in here just choose the closest um or or you know think about you know people who are looking for that genre of music you know would they be happy to find your song within that genre okay moving on an album cover so you do need an album cover this is one of the requirements um and they're recommending um 3000 by 3000 pixels you can do different sizes um and just look at the conditions here about why stores may reject you so uh, things like you can't have your twitter name on the artwork or um, you know, you've got to make sure you own this artwork, of course. It can't belong to someone else or you must have permission to use it. So anyway, I'm going to select my file here. I have one pre-prepared, so I'll pop that in there. And now we get to the main information about the song. So what's it called? My song is called, make sure I get this right, and do make sure you get this right, Superman, okay? So what you want to make sure here is that it's just the song title. Don't uh, talk about you know, what kind of version it is. is it, maybe it's a remaster or a radio version. You don't need to type that in here. And if, it's a, if there's any featured artists, don't get tempted to put in brackets like features. That's going to be dealt with later, okay? Just the song title is what you want here. Now, talking about featured artists, um, that's the next question. So my song doesn't have any featured artists on it. It's just little old me. But if I did have featured artists, I could click yes there and I could type in their names, okay? And if I put in a featured artist of, say, Boo here, um, you'll see just a little further down um, how that's going to be shown in stores, okay? So that's why you didn't need to type that earlier. But anyway, 
no featured artists on mine the next thing is an is a version of the song so this is just a regular version that i'm releasing here nothing special if it was a radio version meaning something you know perhaps doesn't have the swear words in it or what have you then you could indicate that or some other version you know special version is what they've got here but you can type in something else so as i said earlier maybe it would be a remaster or something like that but this is just a regular version okay scrolling down from here um the next thing we need to do is upload the actual song the most important thing probably i've got a track so that i'm going to select here now this is a wave file which i've chosen so a really high quality wave file you can choose other things like say flac or something as well but mostly uh most of us are going to use wave make sure it's uncompressed wave and i would highly recommend that you don't upload an mp3 um these this music is going to be reformatted anyway for a streaming format um so you want to start off with the highest possible quality uh, you don't want to start off with a lower quality and then have them turning it into a streaming format okay so definitely um, when you're exporting from your software or when you're getting this back from a mastering engineer make sure it's in a high quality lossless format like an uncompressed wave okay next thing is asking about dolby atmos now if you've if you've made a dolby atmos piece of music then um, you can upload the extra files here if you like but most of us haven't done and don't so just gonna leave that on no certainly true for me the next thing it's gonna ask about is who wrote the song okay so in this case it was me me and me um now it may be that you've had other artists or it may be that it's a cover song so if it's a cover song this is where things get a little bit sort of different on DistroKid because your sign up costs and don't quote me on this i think it's around about 29 dollars or 30 dollars at the moment to sign up for DistroKid. of course you'll get seven percent off if you use the vip link which i talked about at the beginning that's in the description down below but that includes an unlimited number of songs being uploaded which are your songs songs which you wrote but when it's a cover song that's a little bit different so if it's a cover song you can click on another artist wrote it's absolutely okay to upload cover songs by the way um, you'll have to give some information about the artist you know the original artist and the writers and things that's fine and distro kids going to get the permissions for you okay you don't have to do any of that it's going to get those permissions for you it's going to make sure you're legal however it isn't free this is kind of like an extra service and it's going to say somewhere here yes the fee is distro distro kid charges a fee of one dollar per month paid annually so twelve dollars per year um, to manage the cover song for you so that's per song okay so just be aware of that um i think that's absolutely fine i personally want to make sure the original artist gets their due uh, reward on this so i'm happy to pay that and i have uploaded some cover songs just be aware as well the processing time to get all of that done does take a little bit longer okay so uh, keep that in mind if you've got a specific date you want to release a cover song by think ahead okay so in my case i wrote this song so no problem at all um and then the next thing it's asking about is uh, is the actual songwriters so i wrote the music and lyrics so you know if i just written the lyrics and i could choose that but i've written the music and lyrics there and now i'll just go ahead and i put my name in there michael enjo notice my artist name is mike enjo but i want to make sure i put in my legal name here this makes sure that you do get paid properly okay now let's say there was another songwriter involved i would just click on that here and i could you know denote which parts they did whether it was just musical lyrics and put their name in there now i can also split funds in terms of royalties with other artists we'll talk about that uh, towards the end of this video how you do that but um that's possible to do uh but just a little old me involved with this now the next thing is um does this have explicit lyrics okay um you could either click no if there's no explicit lyrics uh, but mine does have one explicit lyric in there um and i'm going to click yes to indicate that it's explicit lyrics now there's no sort of penalty for this it's just going to be indicated with the release okay the next thing um is is uh, is this an instrumental or is, is it a song with lyrics and yes this has lyrics okay um 
Now you can choose a preview clip start time. So um, on the different platforms, people can have a preview of the song before they say buy it or something. Um, now, in most cases, I guess it's just fine to let the streaming services decide this. But for me, I wanted to set a specific time for that. I've just got my notes here. So I'm gonna click on that and it's actually 46 seconds into the song. So I select that. Um, and that's because I'd like people to hear like the chorus of the song. So I wanna make sure that that's what they're hearing if they get a preview, all right? The next thing we can do is set the price here. I'm quite happy with 99 cents on things like iTunes and Amazon. And then we have some extras. So as I say, um, it costs I don't know what the exact price is at the moment, but around about $30 a year for DistroKid. So that's really perfectly fine, to be honest with you. But you can choose to opt in for some of these extras. I'm not going to read them all out to you now. I'll let you take a look at that. Some of them may be useful to you um, or not. I normally don't use any of these. Um, as I say, I'll invite you to take a look at that and decide for yourself. So after that, we're nearly done. We've just got to make sure we check all these boxes. And of course, you would read them all carefully because whenever you check boxes for legal things, you should read it all carefully. Now, uh, the one I want to point out here, though, is the first one. And you're indicating I selected YouTube Music. Remember, we did that right at the beginning. So I won't email DistroKid later asking, why did you upload my music to YouTube? <laughs> Obviously, I'm guessing that they must have been inundated with people um, who didn't want it on YouTube and didn't realize they checked that box. So do make sure you do that. Um, a couple of the other things which I think are pretty important, um, don't get um, drawn into these sort of pretty scammy services that promise you they're going to get you, um, you know, loads and loads of plays, blah, blah, blah. Um, they don't want you to do that and, you know, you run the risk of sort of being banned on different services and things if you get caught doing that. So I definitely recommend you don't do it. Um, there's another thing here, you know, say I've opted into Snapchat and just confirming again that you own the publishing rights. Also confirming that you, you know, you recorded this music and you're authorized to sell it. And also, you know, indicating that you're not using other artists' names. Some people some people might try and get tricky and because they think they sound like, I don't know, Mariah Carey, um, they'll try and put, you know, the artist's name in the, the title or something um, to try and get an edge. That's not allowed. Don't do that. Um, and then finally, just making sure you've read um, and agreed to the terms of service of, dis uh, of DistroKid. Okay, so once you've done that, you click on Continue. And it's going to start the actual upload process. You can see the album art is already done and it's now uploading the track, which takes a little bit longer, but not too long in my case here. And that's that really begins the process. Now it will start to distribute your song and artwork and all that information to all of these different services. There's a few extra sort of optional things you can do though, and we'll talk about those now. So once you've uploaded your song, you'll get a page something like this, which has a whole bunch of information about your release. And if you go down towards the bottom here, you can see there's a button which says add your lyrics. So I'm going to click on that now. It takes me to this form here, super simple form. All I've got to do here is actually, uh, I've got my lyrics copied from my, on my clipboard. It's just paste my lyrics in there. Now, a, a few things I want you to notice about about the lyrics is there's no uh, punctuation marks on the end of each line so don't do that um, every single lyric in the song is here so I don't put something like you know repeat chorus or something like that in there there's no indicators um, about the arrangement of the song in here it's only the pure lyrics okay so that's something to be aware of another thing is if you do have explicit lyrics in there like I have uh, don't use asterisks or whatever to um, to to hide them or what have you unless you bleep them out um, in the actual recording okay so um, you don't need to do that it's pretty much as simple as that I've put my lyrics in there pretty plain format I'm just going to use um, how they'll appear I'm just going to choose the basic option here so I'll get my lyrics onto Apple Music Google and um, uh, YouTube Amazon etc etc okay 
read, and term, read the terms and conditions, and I'll click on Save Lyrics, and that is done. So back on my main DistroKid page here, I can see my single at the top here. So I'm just gonna click on its name here to go to the page where I can see some extra options for this. Um, and if I scroll down just a little bit here, I'll see the actual song name here and some options over to the right. What I wanna click on is credits, because I wanna add some credits for a couple of people here that worked on the project with me. A little sort of disclaimer there about what kind of information they collect and show click on I understand you can see I'm already there in the credits my name for the music and lyrics now I had a friend actually mix this one for me um, so I'm going to go down to engineer here in the add new box and then under details I'm going to select mixing engineer and then I shall put in Ed Thorne's name here He's the gentleman that did a fine job of mixing this song, I have to say, and I'll save that credit. So he's gonna appear wherever credits appear on these different services. Um, and then I'm also gonna add another engineer, and this gentleman was a mastering engineer. And he goes by the name of Streaky, okay. Um, I could put email addresses in there as well. I don't, they're not shown publicly. It's indicating here, um, but I could put that in. So that's all done. I'll just click on done, submit to streaming services, and it goes ahead and starts that process. Now you can also split royalties with other collaborators for your song if you wish. So back on the song page here, I'm just gonna scroll down to the split section and click on edit splits. There's a couple of different things you can do here. First of all, you're gonna see yourself as getting 100% of the revenue share here. So let's say I wanna split, want split this with one other person. So I'm gonna add a new person in here and just pop in their email address. Okay, um, so some other guy is gonna get a split and then I can decide on a percentage. So say that other person's gonna get 10%, it obviously automatic, automatically adjusts my part to 90%. So that's one way you can do it. The other person doesn't have to be a user of DistroKid. They'll get an email, um, is my understanding, um, and then they can collect their royalties. Um, another thing that you can do is use recoupment. So let's say, for example, you want someone to get a payment up front. Perhaps they um, paid for the recording or what have you, and they need to get that recouped before you or they receive any royalties. So you can do add recoupment here and let's say we put in you know a thousand dollars is what that person's going to get up front then after that they're going to get 10 percent, or maybe after that they don't get anything they just need to have their money returned for their investment into your project so you can also do that as well so hopefully if you've never released music before you can see now just how easy it is to get your music out onto the platforms where most people are listening to music it's not expensive it's not even that time consuming and i'd love for you to get your music out to the world if you do let me know about it in the comments down below thanks so much for joining me today and i'll see you in the next video.